Who was it? Huh? That wasn't a season high for David, was it? Oh, that was just blue. Was it? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Good, straight to the horse's mouth. <laughs> Everybody got Nas Wilhan and David Collins. Uh, go ahead with questions whenever you guys are ready to go. Nas, the uh, what 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 was the difference for you the last six minutes and twenty eight seconds? You got all nine points from that point on. Um, I'm, I just keeping myself to stay ready. Coach looked at us at the bench and was like, "Let's go." We're chipping away. He chipping away, and I just got in the moment. We started to come back. The crowd got into it, and I, I don't know. I just was playing hard, and I felt it. Were you glad to get the ball there at the end there to, to try to win the game for your team? Yeah, I was definitely glad. Uh, going into the timeout, we coach, coach had called my number, so I was ready to step up to the plate and I delivered. David, you've been playing with a, a thigh and a, and a thumb, I think. Um, how, how much pain do you feel out there tonight? How tough has it been to play through that pain? I mean, when I'm out there, I don't really feel much. You know, I'm just focused on, you know, the task at hand and, you know, trying to win for my teammates. Uh, Nas, you're talking about getting into the flow. Um, there, maybe you got a coast to coast, and you may even dribble behind your back. Uh -huh. I mean, what uh, what do you remember from that play, and how much did that get you going? Um, time? I actually remember getting the rebound, and then David looking at me saying, "Let's go," and then, <laughs> so I just decided to go downhill north to south and slow myself down a little bit. I got the charge in the first half, so when I slowed myself down, I was able to just react to what the vote did. But yeah, it, that got me going, getting that bucket. For both of you guys, you're both transfers first year. Um, to, get, to get a game like this and win it when you guys were down 13 and knowing what's at stake, maybe possible postseason, maybe get something here at home, who knows? What's running through y'all's mind as you're trying to extend your careers? I mean, just from a standpoint of, you know, I don't, I've never been to the tournament. I'm not sure about Nas, but, like, you know, that's a that's a real big goal. And, you know, to do it with these guys, you know, that's even bigger. You know, I, I feel like we went through a lot this season with these guys. and. We just want to make the best out of it, and we're not going to give up. We're going to keep fighting all the way to the end. Yeah, so just a second with Dave. Said, yeah, I've never been to the tournament either, so I just said to, uh, there's a sense of urgency there, and, like, that's the reason I came here. So the playing games like we did today, and what better time than with everything on the line, being in my last year of college basketball, to be able to have a chance to perform and do something special. Hey, what does it say about this team that y'all were able to win three straight, you know, without PJ? And we just got Hunter obviously back tonight, but he's probably not 100% either. I mean, it just, you know, just shows the fight of the guy. You know, we got some young guys really stepping up. I think, you know, that shouldn't be overlooked. You know, they're playing heavy minutes and they wasn't playing that many minutes. And to be able to come in like Ian Shefflin and, and Ben Middlebrooks come in and do what they're doing, I mean, that's just big time. David, this is kind of a random question, but I was actually talking to Nas in the preseason about um, that you dunked on Nas, I think, <laughs> in, uh, in high school. Um, do, you, do you remember that play? What happened? And, and what does it mean just to play with Nas? Uh, I mean, I've always, this is funny because, um, I mean, Nas is from Cleveland. I'm from Youngstown. And, like, basketball in Cleveland is, like, big. Like, he's from Lorraine, but, like, kind of grouped that in Cleveland from where we're from. And, you know, we kind of looked up to those guys. Like, we don't get the coverage that they got. So, I mean, I always got to watch them from afar. And then when I got to see them in high school and play in one of their showcases, I was I was looking for revenge, you know. <laughs> and I and I caught him slipping and got him one time. So. <laughs> you still have that on your phone? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah you, you had a big fast break on tonight. Did that take every bit of you with the, with the leg hurting and all? <laughs> uh, luckily, it's my right leg that's hurt. So, I, just, I jumped off my left leg. So, that one's fine. And. You know, I just tried to make sure I made it. <laughs> For either of you guys, I think when PJ went down and the team was already kind of struggling, so maybe some people thought that the streak would continue, or y'all would struggle. So what do you feel like has been different and kind of turned things around? Um, I would just say a sense of togetherness, like sticking to the script. We talk about putting together good days every single day and believing in each other. Nobody has to play those games, but those 15 guys on the team and our coaches and managers in that locker room, we believe in the work that we put in together and sticking through grit is passion and perseverance towards a long-term goal. So it's a next man up type of program. And regardless of whatever they threw at us, we just stuck with it. Guess what did it mean to you guys that Hunter was able to come back? I mean, it's less than a month since he broke his clavicle and he's out there. I mean, what did that say about him? I think that just showed his fight. You know, that was an injury. Like we was thinking we lost him for the season. 
and for him to, you know, come back and then come in and have, I mean, he still played, you know, hit a few shots that we needed, you know, got the play and got the field back and he only going to get better as it goes along. And then that just helps our team, you know, like to finally have him back knowing that, you know, we're we going to maybe get PJ back soon. Like we, we just building on momentum and it's just going to keep, keep pushing and keep pushing. Yeah, I just think it's great to have him out there. We watched him fight every day and claw, scratch and claw to get back. I haven't been here any previous year, but I know how hard he works and how much he loves the game and how much he devotes to it. So just to get him back for our team is huge. He had a voice on the bench. He has an even bigger voice when he plays and just his presence is felt whenever we're out there. What do you all think about the crowd tonight? And how does it compare to your former schools? Uh, I mean, I want to say I think this is like, you know, one of the best atmospheres, you know, for a team, for where we at, for the crowd to still come out and support us. I think that just that's that's part of the fight, part of the team. Like, you know, I feel like we all the team out there. You can hear the the uh, people on the sideline. They cheering us on. They telling us stuff during the game, you know, and, you know, just make you want to fight more. And this is big to us. Yeah. And second that with Dave, I, I love the atmosphere in Little John. Obviously, I came from a school that was a lot smaller and. Towards the end of my career, we built the prime wins and they they got rowdy here too. But just the support system that we have, regardless of the way the year went, to keep seeing the crowds that we seen and they stuck with us and luckily they'll stick with us the rest of the way is a blessing. Any more questions for uh, Dave and Nas? Okay. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Yeah, I appreciate you. <laughs> <laughs> so what's up?